wishes, it's Holly. Welcome to Dandelion Stitches, where we celebrate Christmas every single day. Uh, today we're going heavily with the tree theme. Uh, my my headpiece is so tall I can't even get the whole thing in frame. Uh, my earrings are trees and I am green. And my tree today is doing what is called carnival. So uh, <laughs> I'm not sure what... I'm not feeling carnival, but it's pretty, so I'm still happy. So, uh, nothing to report, no real news. Everything is good in my neck of the woods. I hope the same is true for you. Um, the, the overwhelming report was open all the boxes all the time, so that's what I'm going to do. But today we're doing day five of um, our Christmas Advent, Christmas Advent boxes. So let's get to it. Alrighty, um, this is going to come as absolutely no surprise to anyone who watches my channel, but I'm a pleaser, um, and I and I don't really consider that to be um, a bad thing. If I can make somebody happy, or if it's in my control to fix a problem, I'm I'm going to do it because. Happy's better than not happy. But when it comes to opening these packages, um, I, I, I'm, I'm not making everybody happy. <laughs> and I've decided that I'm just gonna make myself happy. Um, so if there's noise or if I'm showing all of the letter or if um, I'm doing them in the wrong order or if you, do, whatever the problem is, uh, I do apologize, but um, let's, Let's have some Christmas spirit and just have fun with it. So, um, that being said, yes, I'm still going to try to please everyone. But in this instance, I'm going to please me. So, uh, we're going to start with opening our letter from our elf who works so hard. She, she, watch, she does ahead of time and then she sends me emails full of, of fabulousness. And then I type them up and share them with you. So, day five. And the first one is soft squares. Three. Oh, this, oh, oh, wait, no. This should be day one. Would give that a one. Okay, so this is it. Okay, here's what happened. I opened day five on day one. So this is actually day one. And, and I remember she said there was something about coupons. And this is day five, which I already opened on day one. So this one, I know, got five candy canes. If I haven't already confused you, I'm sorry. You might need a little help from a slice of happiness. Goodness. Okay. Nothing up my sleeve. So this is, I'm just going to take it all out. So this, as I said, should have been day one. Um, 2023 holiday gift box. So if you didn't get the gift box, really all these coupons might, this might not be not fair. So we'll just move that. Okay. So, bonus patterns and info for box B. There's her card. Um, please go find her and follow her. And she is absolutely the kindest, sweetest. I just go follow her. Um, can't, can't plug her enough. So, we've got a little bag, a little dotted bag. Oh, with Villa Rosa patterns. I love these little patterns. I don't think I have either one of these either. It's Indigo Bay and Cider Mill. They're all, well, obviously, if you can get it on the back of a card, they're going to be easy patterns, but they're all easy, and they don't take a lot of fabric. Um, this one takes 12 fat quarters, as does this one, and you get a really pretty quilt out of it. I, I love these patterns. So let's put them back in their bag. So don't lose them. Um, uh, you guys, 
guys, look at all this. I can't even, okay. Um, cider mill. This is crazy. This is craziness. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna. I I don't find cider mill, but or cinder mill, but maybe I will. Um, as I go down, this one is mesmerized by Christina Camelli, and it uses a Creative Grids 10 degree ruler. I believe I have one of those. I went on a ruler buying craze once upon a time, and okay, that's very cool. Then there is this cute Sewers Club um, makeup pouch. Love Sewers Club. Another Sewers Club. Did I make this? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. This was cool. Okay, so there's that. So there's a pattern for a tote. A pillow cover. A stand mixer. I bet this is foundation paper piece too, which I love. If you haven't ever done foundation paper piecing, be not afraid. It's not, it's in it. Uh, yeah. Basic stockings. This is a good idea. I mean, when you get right down to it, the kids don't care what the stocking looks like. Not that, I mean, these are adorable stockings and they would be, but they just want it big enough to get all the goods in. So. And then this is a cut loose pattern for split diamond table topper. Oh, I like this too. Okay, and then there's a color wheel. Everyone ought to have a color wheel and spend some time learning how to use it. Uh, I still am not fabulous with a color wheel, to tell you the truth, but uh, I'm working on it. So we've got coupons, we've got patterns. Uh, that was, that was a lot. Wow. Okay, so that was soft squares. I'm going to put it all back in here so that I don't lose any of it. Okay, next up, cotton cut. Interesting, three candy canes. This elf has not had luck doing this, but we'll try again. Some fabric with it would have been nice to practice on. We all have scraps, I guess. And we do perfectly mini charming. Oh, this is awesome. See what I just said about foundation paper piercing? If you get one of these things, that has these papers to work off of. It is, I, yeah, I dig it. I am not a huge fan of English paper piecing, uh, handwork, yeah, but this is, I'm very, very happy, very happy. Next up, open gate, where are you? You can always tell it's the cutest box. She, they went to so much trouble to wrap these in this adorable way. I, I am grateful. I'm all about presentation. And sometimes people make fun of me because the wrappings are as good as the box, but are good with what's in it. But I really, I love a good presentation. <gasps> oh, that's so pretty. It's a needle minder. Oh, you guys, look at it. That's beautiful. Oh, I wish I did more needlework, but I'll still find something beautiful to put that on and enjoy. Okay, next up is Stitch Supply. Come to me, Bob. Cinco. 
Is that right? No. Oh, no, Stalls tries Cloud Race. Yeah, it is. Um, why don't I see it? Oh, because it's the biggest box, and it's literally the biggest box here. Yeah. Okay, I'll be. Mm, there's something in the bottom, too. Never noticed that. Okay, so she says... This box is slowly winning me over. Love this project. Never seen a panel like this. Glad it is here early so this elf can whip it up for someone special waiting for Santa. Okay. He missed it. Doctor. He missed it. pillowcase pattern. I love making pillowcases and I love using pillowcases. Sew your own standard size pillowcase using this clever burrito style assembly method. This pattern will have you in stitches just looking for more pillowcase projects. Okay, uh, let's see this. Let's see this cute thing. Oh my gosh, I've never, you're, she, she is so right. Um, when I go back to the other camera, I'll try to hold it up so you can see it better. But the whole pillowcase thing is in this panel. This is so cute. Wow. Tree yard pillowcase. And then on the other side. Oops, sorry. Same thing. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside so I can show it to you when I go to the other camera because you need to see the whole, the whole thing, the whole shoot and match. Okay. All right, where are we? We are at Jenny's box and it's a big old bag. This box is starting slow for this elf. I give this a half eaten five candy canes. <laughs> only because they did include stars. Talk about using your scraps. I am putting this aside and hope I have enough Christmas night by Monique scraps to use on this craft. Well. Okay, fabric twine trees. Okay, these are really cute. I, I would have to agree that um, I five half-eaten candy canes. Um, I, I would have enjoyed some fabric uh, to go with this, but this is super cute and I've never seen it twined like this. So yeah, um, this might, I'm gonna try and do the, that really cute gnome as a you I'll take you along as I make it so maybe we'll do the same thing for, for this one okay too much too much going on here oh it's like a little bit of light there we go okay now we're up to the ginger quilter which I believe is yes this this thing uh one two three four five okay sold this elf we'll be buying this box again next year five plus candy canes to say I love it is an understatement. Can't wait to watch video. Another scrap buster, but this beats them all in the scrap department. Oh, okay. It's got something poking out the side here. Oop, oop, oop. Nope, still done. <gasps> no way. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. No freaking way. It's make your own clock. This is absolutely the coolest thing. I can't stand it. I will be making this. Oh, 
scan the code to watch the tutorial. Look at how cute that is. Oh my gosh. Where did she, did she come up with this by herself? Did she, I mean, I, ay ay ay, karam, so cool. And my husband is very good at making flax. So, um, yeah, this was tray awesome. All right, last one, petting fabric. I've lost, I've lost hope for you guys, I gotta say. If you're watching this video, uh, man, I, you know, I almost want to say shame on you <laughs> because you, you got to start stepping it up. I mean, it, this, this was $295 and it's not even, it's not even coming close to ones that were much less expensive. And I don't care if it is 25 days, several of these are 25 days. So I, I'm so disappointed, but we shall carry on. Three candy canes. I don't have one of these, but could take it or leave it. It does go with the first package fabric. Okay, well, the So Simple Wallet pattern. I, I don't have one of these either. I'm not so sure I would, I don't know. Not so sure I would make one, but Okay, not not really um, really anything to redeem yourself there. Okay, and uh, find your joy, your quilting elf. Uh, okay, let's go to the other camera before I sit here and cry. Oh, oh, uh, oh, I remember now. It's, I'm getting there, I'm getting there, okay. Look, look how cute this is. Can you stand it? So cute. And the fact that it already has the pieces on it that you don't have to sew on the, um, I've never seen anything like this. This is so cute. Way to go, Stitch Supply. Please be well, be safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Doesn't ring. It doesn't jingle. It doesn't even light up. What, what is it even for?